Hey, what is going on, crypto people? It is the Crypto Siege with another day in the life and the crazy life that is the digital asset space. Good morning. Happy Wednesday to each and every one of you. Close my office door. Hope you're excited about being in this space. <laughs> Holy moly. How blessed are we? But how blessed are we to be an early adopter in this new asset class that is the digital asset space and participation, guys. I'm telling you, participation is everything, everything. Songberg Finance, currently known as X5. Wow, pretty awesome returns for participating in early platforms, early ecosystem, which is constantly rewarded and rewarded and rewarded, came across another, what, almost $5,000 just for participating in an ecosystem, right? Just how blessed are we, again, to be early adopters in this new asset class that is the digital asset space, guys. I got to tell you, it's pretty crazy. So listen, I'm going to go over the market because the market is doing what the market does, right? I got I have to finish watching uh, blockchain back his video that he did yesterday. He's got another one today. Uh, he's talking about mathematics and percentages and stuff. I didn't get to, a chance to finish all of that uh, because I was messing around, <laughs> messing around with the monster that is Meyer. But in any case, guys, look at uh, some interesting thing coming out of Brad Garlinghouse. Uh, shout out to Ripple for this new, um, very, very interesting partnership with, I believe it's called Palau. We're gonna go, we'll go over that a little bit as well. Bitboy Crypto has some interesting videos, a little interesting interview with that dude, with that pit bull, John Deaton as well. We'll cover some of that uh, as well as we talk. We're gonna share for a little bit. It's gonna be a very quick video, guys. Definitely will do that. So guys, listen, this is your XRP Ripple. Daily news in around zero to 10 minutes let's do it let's check out the market i'm going to refresh this just to kind of see 2.78 2.73 trillion so it's down a bit uh the total cryptocurrency market cap according to coin gecko is 2.68 trillion down 1.8 percent on 24 hour bitcoin dominance is at 39.9 percent which is uh cool 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 again we need that in the mid 30s Bitcoin is at $56,885. Ethereum is at $4,256. Binance Coins, $587. Solana is $206. Cardano is down $1.63. Very, very uh, interesting news coming out of the eToro uh, business in, the, in that they're going to list amongst others. Uh, they're going to delist Cardano and Tron uh, uh, to kind of uh, kind of um, head off, if you will, some of the regulatory concerns that they have with guess who? United States government regulator. Yeah. So a um, dollar three for XRP. Uh, Polkadot is at thirty eight dollars. And 85 cents. Uh, Dogecoin is 21 cents. Avalanche is uh, $117, up 17% on the seven day. Crypto.com is up 126%. That's the CRO token uh, at 94 cents. Uh, <laughs> Alex Mashinsky, uh, uh, I was on the AMA the other day with Alex Mashinsky and uh, at Celsius Network. And uh, yeah. <laughs> Not excited about crypto.com and spending $700 million to get their name on a, on a, on a thing. <laughs> Celsius Network is giving those kind, that kind of money to you and I, the depositors, the, the platform providers, our platform users. <laughs> Terra Luna is uh, $38.45. It's down, uh, God, double figures on the seven day, 11%. Shiba Uno is down 23% on the seven day. At thirty-seven fifty-four zero 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 three seven five four. Uh, what else? Litecoin short at nine dollars is down uh, double figures on the seven day, and uh, chain links down double figures on the seven day at twenty-five dollars and seventy-six cents. Polygon is five. Polygon. Polygon is a dollar sixty-nine. 
is up it's 7.4 percent on, on the seven day bitcoin cash 590 dollars algorand is at a dollar and 75 cents uniswap's 20 dollars and 93 cents axie infinity is 143 dollars Elron is at $457. EGLD is up 49.8%. Might as well say 50% on a seven day. What a blessing EGLD has been for the crypto sieges home. Uh, Cosmos, and I hope it's been a blessing for you and your home as well. Cosmos, uh, ATM, ATOM, Atom tokens, $29.94. VeChain, 12 cents. Stella Lumen, VeChain is down 16.4% on a seven day. Stellar Lumen is at 30, uh, 32 cents, 32 cents for Stella. And uh, Decentraland is at $5.40. Oh, man. Yeah, that's, that's a little painful there. That's a little painful. Again, we had um, buy orders in, sell orders in for, for Decentraland. Man, I didn't go through, did not go through. Yep, so we kind of, that was a fail for us because we exited out of mana and uh, on a 300% on a gain, exited out, uh, not expecting to get to this 540 uh, that quickly. And we put it into something else. So you see, win some and you lose some. $5.40 is up 62% on the seven day. Interesting, right? So you win some with Gala, six six figure percentage gain and you lose some <laughs> with Decentraland, right? Uh, interesting, interesting stuff. Uh, thank goodness we didn't sell into that dirty, nasty fiat. So we did put it into another crypto. Tron is at 0 0.9 cents down seven figures on the seven day. Sandbox is up 143%. Goodness gracious, it's almost $8, $7.98. Uh, on the seven day, shout out to everybody who was early in sand. I'm, I remember, I, I don't know if I had some, had a little, I don't remember with Sandbox, but I, I don't believe we have any currently. Hedera Hashgraph is at 35 cents. I know a lot of people on the channel follow Hedera. So that's kind of the market. It is, of course, doing what the market does. Doing what the market does. <laughs> very, very interesting. So guys, that is it right there for the market. Hope you guys have been blessed. It's hot or strong, more great things are coming. I can promise you, I can almost promise you, <laughs> almost promise you that. Just came out from the Monica Long camp. She is responding to Ripple's tweet. Ripple tweeted out, we're excited to announce our partnership with the Republic of, of Palau. What did I say? Did I say Palau? I think I did. Palau to explore the country's first national digital currency using the XRP ledger. Incredible potential, says Monica Long, for Ripple's partnership with Palau, the world's first government-backed national stablecoin could come to the XRP ledger thanks to its custom token functionality as early as next year. Wow, that is really Really, really cool. Here it is on Ripple.com. I won't go over all of this, I don't think. Republic of Palau partners with Ripple to develop digital currency strategy. We're excited to announce a new partnership with the Republic of Palau to explore the country's first national digital currency and its use cases with the XRP ledger. The partnership will initially focus on developing strategies for cross-border payments with the US state USD United States dollar backed digital currency for Palau. This could see the implementation of the world's first government backed national stable coin in the first half of 2022, for which Ripple would provide Palau with technical, business, design, and policy support. <laughs> Blue Ocean Strategy Ripple is on it. Meanwhile, exploring a United States dollar backed stablecoin and associated use case, cases such as corporate registry on the XRP ledger. Massive. It could provide a viable alternative to central bank digital currencies for countries like Palau. Let me say that again. 
Let me say that again. Meanwhile, exploring United States dollar-backed stablecoin and associated use cases, such as a corporate registry on the XRP ledger, could provide a viable alternative to CBDCs. Do you see what do you see what's going on there? You know, you know, we say on this channel all the time, XRP, the XRP ledger, ILP. Just pick one. We said all the time. So Ripple is again in the genius in the XRP ledger. It, it is very, very versatile. It's lightweight, nimble, fast moving, durable, immutable, all the great attributes. And it's it can just you can just pivot and, and, and pivot and make another move and pivot and make another move. They're talking about here a possibility is an alternative to the central bank digital currency. It's powerful. On the ledger, an alternative to CBDC. As part of our commitment to lead in financial intervention and technologies, we are delighted to partner with Ripple, said the president, said President Serengo Whips Jr. Surin, Surin Joe Whips Jr. probably. The first phase of the partnership will focus on a cross-border payment strategy and exploring options to create a national digital currency. Providing the citizens of Palau with greater financial access. Palau understands the potential for financial technologies, including blockchain, to transform its economy and position the country as a highly desirable country to do business with. The same technologies will also transform how its citizens access financial services and enable efficient cross-border remittances. Unfreaking believable. As a as here's a very, very important thing. As an established leader in the global climate debate, Palau chose Ripple because of its extensive experience in blockchain and building global payment systems and the XRP ledger because it's carbon neutral and 120,000 X more efficient than proof of work blockchains. What's more, the XRP ledger provides significant benefits such as scalability, speed and low cost. Here's another quote. We are excited to be working with Palau to achieve his financial and climate related goals, said James Wallace, the vice president of central bank engagements at Ripple. We have a wonderful opportunity to bring together our technology and experience with the unique characteristics of Palau to make a real economic and social impact for the country. Absolutely massive. Absolutely, in 2022, is look, it's absolutely uh, massive. It's just a clear roadmap uh, for me and a blueprint, if you will, for what Ripple is looking to do. It is just, it's it's genius in motion. And then, you know, the kind of word gets out, oh man, wow, really? The XOP ledger can do this? Oh, wow, really? Ripple provides all of this infrastructure and all this expertise and all this techno uh, technological advances yeah, we, we help countries get up and running in this new asset class. We help countries get up and running in this new asset class. Powerful, 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 powerful. Shout out to Ripple and their blue ocean strategy. I love it. Out with the old rails and in with the new, says Brad Garlinghouse. Uh, Economic Times put this out. The panel has recommended that an alternative indigenous financial system be developed on the lines of similar systems elsewhere, such as Ripple in the U.S. and Instex in the EU. Brad Garlinghouse tweeted out, out with the old and in with the new. Very, 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 very cool. Bitcoin, crypto, Ben Armstrong is in the news with some very, very interesting um, insight on something. I want to share this with you guys real quick. 
is so very, very true. As a McRib NFT. Look around at the headlines just from this past month alone. It's happening right now. Burger King has a promotion for customers to get into crypto. McDonald's has a McRib NFT. Spicy. The Houston Rockets recently added NY Dig is a team sponsor, and the team will be paid in Bitcoin. Wow. Tom Brady, Steph Curry, Shohei Otani are all ambassadors for FTX. Even churches are going to accept Bitcoin donations. Portal has partnered with Polygon to advance DeFi on Bitcoin. You can buy Bitcoin from ATMs and gas stations all across the country. There are commercials for various crypto exchanges and wallets during most primetime NFL games. Decrypt pointed out that the Stable Center, which will now be known as the Crypto.com Arena, is a 20-year contract for $700 million. How can Bitcoin ever go to zero if the Stable Center has a 20-year contract promoting crypto? <laughs> this is a great point, my friend. Congratulations on this uh, nominated for the Block Blockchain Influencer Awards. Congrats to you. It's good to see that you're leveling up your um, uh, informate your uh, knowledge about uh, all things XRP and the XRP ledger for sure. It's, it is absolutely great. And again, congrats, Big Boy, uh, Big Boy Crypto, on this nomination for the Blockchain Influence Award. Cool, cool, cool. Look, I just think this is amazing right here. I'm telling you guys, don't sleep on one chain. <laughs> It has been a blessing in terms of getting some massive returns on XRP, being both a lender and a borrower. It's been a really, really cool deal. So Wanchain puts out here, uh, incoming Wanchain network upgrade. What? A major upgrade in preparation for a brand new kind of cross-chain bridge. When node update November 26th at uh, midnight UTC, 0000 UTC, new bridge. New bridge, November XX at XX UTC. <laughs> this upgrade may take longer than usual. So they're going to, you know, start it, I guess, and the node updates on the 26th. But I absolutely like this. Great, great, great to see. Uh, 0000, November 26th to 2359 UTC, November 26th. So definitely look out for that. But again, one chain just continues to impress with the moves that they're making. Very, very interesting. And the last thing for Bitcoin Crypto here, he had John Deaton on uh, on his channel. Uh, and I think this is very, very interesting. I don't need to play the video, but this is what we could most definitely see a revision of 2017 for XRP. And then John Deaton said uh, he did agree. He said just like XRP in 2017, we can see it again with, with XRP as being the one to go the furthest, the highest return, the fastest, right? Three weeks and the last one to rip. So stay tuned for that. Shout out to you, John Deaton. Keep doing what you're doing, brother. And I thought this tweet was very, very interesting because Patty XRP was responding to some people on crypto, crypto Twitter. And it says here, it says, not really. The XRP ledger owns the XRP, owns the escrow rather. Not really. The ledger owns the escrow until it is released to Ripple. The validators on the ledger could always vote to change how it's distributed if they are inclined to do so. Ripple doesn't have enough validators to control this. And that's the biggest misconception. People think that it's centralized. Ripple owns this and Ripple owns that. And they just, they don't want to listen to the facts of the matter. It's a decentralized ledger, validators. Ripple owns a small percentage of the validators. They can't uh, put in some majority thing to change it around as a company. They don't own enough values to do it. And John Deaton tweeted out, read what P Patty XRP states below. Now read what the SDNY court held in the Telegram case. Quote, cryptocurrencies are a lawful means of storing or transferring value and may fluctuate in value as any commodity would. As any commodity would. An investment in a cryptocurrency utilized by members. This is a quote. An investment in a cryptocurrency utilized by members of a decentralized community connected via blockchain technology 
which itself is administered by this community of users rather than by a common enterprise is not likely to be deemed a security under the SEC versus Howie. He's got the mic drop there. Shout out to you, John Deaton. Keep doing what you're doing. Guys, be sure to go follow John Deaton here. And uh, at, the, at the top of his tweet, he has a way for you to join the lawsuit. You go to crypto-law.us and you can, uh, you can click on a link there to go directly, be connected directly with your local representatives in the Senate and the House in order to share your concerns about um, what's going on in the crypto space, whatever that concern for you might be. Understand guys, participation is very, very cool. We, got, we, we, discovered, uh, we discovered last night uh, uh, that we, you know, because we participated early in the ERD, the EGLD ecosystem, you know, they, you know, uh, they blessed us with, you know, several thousand dollars, uh, uh, several thousand dollars in value, right? Which is a really, really cool deal. Just kind of wake up and you see that it's really, really good. Participation is key, guys. And for us, we do have Flare Networks, we have Flare Finance, and understand this, that's an ecosystem being built out. This is not financial advice. I would certainly never tell you to do with your money. I have discovered that early participation in ecosystems of value has been a big time blessing for us and for myself and, and the crypto sieges home. So I hope you I hope that means something to you. I hope you'll you know listen to that. All right guys look I'm gonna end this video like I do all my videos and remind you guys of this that old money doesn't want you to win. They don't want us to win. They would rather that we remain a cog in their perpetual wheel of trading our time for dollars. They don't want us to play in the same playground that they play in where we allow our money to work for us. This is our chance to win, guys. The digital asset space is our chance to win. We are in the midst of the greatest transfer of wealth in the history of man. Are you participating or are you standing on the sidelines? Here's what I do know, that the battle for you has already been fought and the victory is yours. Go get it. I'll talk to you soon, guys. See ya. Bye.